Welcome back to Dark Souls 3, everyone. I heard some dialogue which did remind me that there is supposed to be some like weird ass NPC that spawns. There he is. What a boy. Uh, you're making interesting noises. I don't think I've ever listened to this dialogue. Cool story, bro. This rotting thing is actually like a disgusting texture. I accidentally skipped that dialogue. Oh, this is a boring start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Anyways, welcome back. So, honestly, we're going to be continuing here in the painted world of Ariandel. Now, I was planning on making a long video again, like I tend to do, you know. 50 minutes to an hour, I'm not going to be able to do that because... Oh shit, do you ever stop? I got home kind of late from walking my dog. It's like really... You can hear her right about now. Uh, it's like really snowy outside, so I stayed out longer. Because... She actually enjoyed the snow. She does enjoy the snow. and I tend to do as well when I don't have to go to work the next day, which I do have to go, but you know, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But that does mean that I'm a little bit behind with videos and I need to do January as well, because I skipped yesterday, which, you know, follow my Instagram if you're not already, Mr. Underscore Sketchhead, I'm doing a little one minute to under one minute jam that was a fail ass. Sorry, doggos. God damn, that is loud. Look at the pivot there. So, um... Yeah, I still need to... I need to do two, actually. It's probably gonna be a two-parter. As in... One song split into two. Or something like that. I I have no idea. I'll come up with it. But I still need to come up with it, film it, record it, you know, all that. So I'm a busy boy. Did I turn down my TV properly? It's not the best time to check. This game is just loud as fuck. Alright, screw it. Let's go. think we're better now. We just, like, murdered an entire wolf pack, but... Hey, it's like... They don't have too much of a choice. Even the wolves are cool. Not so much when they're trying to murder you, but... You know, in other situations. What a bitch. These three ladies can be quite a nuisance. They like launch fire and all that. This is it's not not ideal. I'm like really tearing shit up. Look at the strafing. Except I'm pretty sure these guys function like uh, the arrows do, as in they. Kinda do that guided missile shit. Luckily you can roll forever and even get a backstab. Look at him. Just send him flying. You know what? Screw both of you. Yeah, the follower javelin. 
I've never actually used these weapons. I don't think I've ever used any of the DLC weapons. Uh, but this one, you can throw it. You have more than one, actually. And you can just kind of lob it at the enemy, which is pretty interesting. But less interesting when you discover that projectiles are basically... There's the big-ass wolf. Question is, do I want to fight it? It's pretty cool. I have noticed it before. Oh, he has backup. I forgot he has backup. He's like swinging and missing. Is it gone? It's not gone. Okay, it's taking a lot of damage though. And it's dishing out a lot of damage too. Man, do they love their Sith clones. Although this one is actually... I have no idea if I'm hitting it or not. I am. Sorry, Wolfo. Didn't have too much of a choice. We're gonna murder you anyways. Which is gonna happen a little bit later. That boss sucks. Like, seriously. So how come I one-shot these but not the other one? Not the big one, but like the other one, uh, the other big one. <clears throat> Whatever. I'm down to one Estus. So the question is how much trouble I'm in. Quite a bit. Stupid fire attack is awful. Oh, am I dead? I'm dead, aren't I? Yes, I am. Even though I have a lot of frostbite defense, the tree does not give a fuck about that. I tried mashing, as you probably heard. Did not work. Which reminds me, I have to re-download stupid um, Rain City as well. Which... I didn't get around to doing. Yeah. How the fuck am I gonna remember to do that? Future me? When you're editing this? Have you downloaded Ring City? If not, get on that shit because... You're gonna forget. And once we get there, it's gonna be... Another shit show. Speaking of shit shows... Okay, I'm taking this a little bit too casually. <clears throat> Time to actually focus on the game a little bit instead of whatever stupid shit I'm saying. Nice party trick though. So I think you can avoid the wolves. As far as I know. First of all... No, you can't. But everybody's howling. Including the trees. You know, screw these guys. There ain't shit here that I need. We got bugs. Whatever, if the wolves come down here, I'll get them. There's frozen weapon as well, which is actually a decent. Hold on. Oh man, this is... What kind of cluster fuck is this? Hold up. I did not factor the tree into this. No, 
Nice. I think we made it. As I was saying, you get frozen weapon there, which is a decent spell, I think. Does exactly wait or was that frostbite? Whatever. There's a lot of frost type spells here. And probably the worst miracle in the entire game. The fucking frisbee. The light frisbee. Alright, this is the other end of a shortcut, right? I think so, yeah. <clears throat> See, I know for a fact that there's a... Oh no, it's on the other side, the bonfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Cross the bridge we go. It's like environmental... Like, f that... From that perspective, environmental-wise, this is not a bad area. I like the design, I like the updated look of area. I mean, it's, it's different, but it's the same. Which is pretty much the entirety of this game. But... It's really short. That's one of the issues. And the boss, man, when we get to the bosses... There's gonna be something else entirely. This guy has a badass voice, though. For sure, a smoker. And yet, you've slipped into the painting. Oh, no matter. If you've lost your way, the words of Lady Frida will guide you. Now, go on inside, show respect, and listen carefully. Cool story, bruh. Alright. Where did the maze go all of a sudden? Or Great Hammer, whatever. It's a giant maze, like, you know. Hey, Freed. Welcome to the painted world of Ariandel. I am Frida. I have long stood beside our blessed father and the rest of the forlorn. But forlorn thou seemest not. I'm the Dark Lord. Oh. That's cool. I did not know that changed. I presume it is a bond to thee. The bonfire here in this room. A meek and faded thing, but twill guide thee nonetheless. All right. All right. I'm just gonna have a look around. Mainly up here. I don't remember if she's here, the painter, painter girl. Or even like, what's the deal with this? Oh no, it's gotta like, light up. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Some of those things look like ketchup packets. You know the ones that like, you get at like, seafood restaurants? The ones that have like, the little top? <clears throat> Anyways, we're gonna have a look around. We're gonna get out of here, don't worry. Been inside, idiot. Hollow gem. I, to be honest, I do like that she said Lord of Hollows. You know, put some respect on my name. So first of all, we're not gonna go down there. That area is god awful. We're gonna instead continue normally. Take the intended path. And really, the thing about this area is it's not that difficult to make it through. There are some challenges, but... Oh, hello. Can I hit you, please? There we go. Large. And all that for a large shard. It's shitty. Although now that I think about it, like, how long... How many... Enemies we have to blast our way through. This area is kind of annoying. 
two bosses of course Freed and the uh, wolf and the dude the dude pretty much doesn't matter so you know but of course calm oh I have a flask shard and an undead bone shard I should go back shouldn't I every instinct is telling me to go back Just trying to figure out when the next bonfire. It's inside the town here. Oh shit. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Alright, bloodborne enemies. Let me just like take care of shit here. So yeah, these things made it in somehow. These weird like bird slug hybrids. These dudes are like the main enemy. Them and their versions. Yeah, I don't think so. Get back. Get back on the ground. Get maced. And not the pepper spray type of mace either. Shut up. I am hoping that with this being a stronger build me having more leeway for error <clears throat> the bosses are gonna be easier this really is a disgusting texture like they did a good job with it it really does look like some weird rotting material I never killed these things this quickly before that's for sure so yeah GG to FromSoft on that design wise but I don't know I've always felt that this this area was underutilized for sure the ring city is more interesting more varied locations and all that I just remembered we have to rescue the girl yeah yeah, yeah. the painter I mean to unlock her little prison I am Ash. I'm the Lord of Hollows and the Pokemon Master. God damn, he looks ugly. He has, like, the thing is, dialogue is fairly interesting in this DLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, got you, bro. No worries. <clears throat> this giant mace will help in convincing her. Oh yeah, this is an extremely close bonfire. Cool. We're gonna take a trip back. Not for leveling, because I'm fairly sure I cannot even get a single level but um Estus shard and bone shard everything is a shard the shard from mirror's edge mirror's edge 2 actually was it in the first game as well I don't know the only thing I know about it is that mirror's edge 2 sucked I love the first one actually Super good game. Um, that was one of those... There were a couple of games like that. Back in those days. Like 2000... God, what, it, what even was Mirrors? I was fairly old. Like 2008. That... Like, I mean, it got... Okay reviews. You know, 7s 
around that there, but then it was like the hype grew. God, fuck, I can't even talk. The hype grew for that game, and it just kept getting more and more popular and all that. And it's really like it's really popular, mainly because people discovered how deep the movement mechanics are, and then Mirror's Edge Two basically took all of that away. <clears throat> I mean, I love the first one. So many, so many memorable levels that even like. That was pretty much the last time I played it, like 08, and I still remember a lot of the locations and set pieces and all that. Of course, really good game to speedrun as well. Sorry, Brad, but I'm... These ones turn hostile, don't they? Sorry, like they can die anyways. Just being an asshole slaughtering all these guys. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's killing them as well. And we're gonna rescue them. I don't know what type of hit that was. If that had happened to me, I would be calling bullshit. Thank you, camera, for doing such a stellar job. There's something else here as well, isn't there? Oh yeah, does not open from this side. That's what's over here. Mmm, there's, <laughs> there's one slight problem. Boy has no clue where to go. Alright. It's not here, I do know that. As in the place I have to go. I also know that for sure. Oh, come on, are you serious? This leads to this really annoying jump. Wait, is that not? So I don't want to jump and make a... No, that's that's what leads to the jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. And this leads back to the bonfire. Which we're obviously not going to hit. I'm fully stop. Oh, hello. I did not know that was a thing. Cool. This is my shining moment. My Olympic... Oh, crow quills. My Olympic gold moment. The long jump. I'm a champion. Alright. <clears throat> There's... The problem persists. You know which one I'm talking about. Shit. Man, this weapon is good. Did you see it almost do 2000 damage? Although, to be fair, I got some like, weird critical hit on them. It's funny that I'm playing this DLC at this exact same time because the weather is pretty much this outside. Is it still snowing? Yes, it is. God damn. That is not good, and oh man, going to work tomorrow is going to be a pain in the ass, that is for sure. Alright. <clears throat> I'm sure that I'm... There, this is the one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, problem solved. I try to push you off as well into the into the goddamn boss arena for, for the other boss. Yeah. This weapon, I swear. It's OP. It's, it's straight up OP. Like what can these poor fuckers do aside from toxicking me? Where is that poison? I can never tell. From the little icon, it's like pretty much impossible. Alright. Pretty sure I did not make it through this easily the last time I played this DLC. Which was in the Pyro Guide, I think. 
I wasn't this OP, that's for sure. This? Please tell me this unlocks some type of door. It acts as the shortcut to something. Oh, please don't spray me with that. Yeah. Oh, that's what this is. Slave Knight stuff, I think that's fairly... It's a fairly good looking set. Has some... Fashion potential. Helmet looks kind of bunk. It's another one of those helmets that makes your head look irrationally small. We're gonna... Why not have a look at it, right? Well, I mean, it doesn't particularly. Still like my crown, though. <clears throat> I know this is Volnir's crown, but it's pretty much been kind of repurposed to be the crown of the Dark Lord. Lord of Hollows. Not Dark Lord, I'm not a Sith, but almost. I cannot wait for episode 9 of Star Wars. At this point, I mean, it's more like morbid curiosity. At this point, I don't know what you guys think, but I've pretty much decided that the new Disney stuff, for me personally, is non-canon, aside from Rogue One. Rogue One is okay. Rogue One, yeah, it's not the greatest movie in the world, but I like it. I personally, I like it. I think the space battle at the end alone is just worth praising the movie for. Uh, yeah, that one that one can stay canon for all I care. Like, Force Awakens could have stayed canon for all I cared, but The Last Jedi fucked it up. You know if you watch my channel that I have quite a dislike for The Last Jedi. Let's not even get started on Solo. I, I watched Solo, uh, not in the cinemas, because... No fucking way I'm gonna am I gonna spend Well how much is the ticket here? It's only like ten bucks but repurposed in terms of Hungarian money it's not not like a terrible amount but for solo it is a terrible amount. So I watched it on streaming when it came out and I was like Seriously? That's it? I've never seen a more kind of middling grey like no positives, no negatives. It was a, that movie might not like if it didn't exist, we would be no further or no in no way back in society. This motherfucker. Every fleeing man must be caught. Every secret must be unearthed. Such is the conceit of the self-proclaimed seeker of truth. But it Right, this guy is kind of a motherfucker, isn't he? Against Frostbite, though. He heals like a bitch, too. Yeah, yeah. No! Hyper armor! Ah. Oh. Shut the fuck up. Got your Onyx Blade, which is, to be fair, a fairly good weapon. But that's not the issue. It's like insanely easy. This guy, again, the thing about him is that he's straight up a cheater. Like, he heals so quickly. Like, no, like, person-made character could ever heal this quickly. There's there's cheating, straight up cheating. I'm the Dark Lord. So do they have like a two-way radio in here or something? Alright. 
Only question is, let's not fall into the hole. This is the shortcut, yes. There's another shortcut here, kind of a strange one. There is a bonfire, yep. This, I don't know, this doesn't make too much sense. Oh, it's probably for, you know, when you come around in the tower. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Kind of perfect bite-sized Dark Souls 3 chunk. I think we're making good progress here. I should be able to get this done. Get to Elfried for sure in the next episode. And we'll see how we proceed with her. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.